Hi, I'm Larry Clintz with McPherson Guitars. Uh, we started McPherson Guitars in 2001 out of Sparta, Wisconsin. Very small company, make about 150 a year. One of the pieces of interest is our 1776. 1776 is the actual serial number of that one guitar. When we were coming up into our production number, our builders asked if they could do something unique and different. So we said, let's make it all American woods, uh, cherry, maple, the inside kerfing and bracing is mixed with California walnut. We found some fossilized woolly mammoth tusk. We cut it in little pieces like a tore up piece of parchment paper, about 200 years old is the look we were going for. We then found a scrimshaw artist from Oregon and he reproduced the signing of the Declaration of Independence, all freehand scrimshaw. The two eagles facing each other uh, was designed by us and Bob Herger, the scrimshaw artist. Because we had little mammoth tusk left, we decided to do the, we call it the nautical guitar. Back and sides are Brazilian rosewood with a nautical compass of plain maple and ebony and uh, some little pieces on the inside are myrtle. Trimmed out in all ebony, African mahogany neck and the ebony tuner keys. Kind of a Pirates of the Caribbean sort of uh, theme to it. We overlaid a Brazilian bridge with small pieces of the mammoth tusk and had a old world sailing map scrimshot over it. So instead of doing another one, let's reproduce a Picasso painting called Guitar from 1912. All the pieces together are 425 pieces on this guitar. Because Picasso was a Spaniard, we decided let's make the neck out of Spanish cedar. Kind of Picassoized the head cap, fret markers. That's just part of who we are. We have standard builds also, but we are more of a one-on-one -on -one customer. What do you want us to do for you? And uh, it's worked out well for us.